step into reading three. A science reader, monster bugs. Have you ever looked at a bug up close? You might see horns or armor or spikes. If bugs were your size, they'd be scary. No bug is as big as you, but some are huge for bugs, and some are fierce. This book is all about the biggest and fiercest bugs in the world. The heaviest bug is the Goliath beetle of Africa. How heavy is it? Get two eggs out of the fridge. Hold them together in your hand. That's how heavy one Goliath beetle is. But Goliath beetles are gentle. Some kids even keep them as pets. Not all beetles are gentle. The giant stag beetle is a fighter. These two beetles are fighting over a female. One male grabs the other in its huge jaws, lifts it into the air, and slams it down on the ground. A mouse wants to eat this juicy bombardier beetle, but the beetle fires boiling hot gas from its rear end. Bang, bang, bang! Each burst explodes like a firecracker. The gas bombs burn and sting, and the mouse runs away. Giant water bugs stab their victims and suck their blood like vampires. The mother water bug glues her eggs to the father's back. He carries them around until they hatch. Then, if the babies don't swim away quickly, he might eat them. What's the stinkiest, smelliest bug? A stink bug. When a bird scares a stink bug, the bug oozes a horrible, smelly liquid. The bird flies away. It doesn't want a dinner that stinks. Australian walking sticks are the longest of all bugs. Hungry birds love to eat them. The walking stick doesn't have big jaws or burning gas to fight with, but it can hold very still and hide. Look closely. Can you see it against this branch? Some praying mantises are as long as bananas. This one jabs a curious frog with the spikes on its legs. Pow, pow! The frog hops away. A praying mantis will eat anything smaller than itself, even a baby bird that falls from its nest. After eating, the mantis washes its face like a kitten. Army ants are killers. Millions of them march through the forest. They eat anything they can catch. Cockroaches, spiders, beetles, and scorpions. When they come to a village, even people hurry to get out of their way. Grrr! Imagine falling into a lion's den. It's happening to these ants. A hungry ant lion has dug a pit. It hides at the bottom, buried in sand. Only its powerful jaws stick out. When an ant falls in, the ant lion grabs it, sucks it dry, and throws away the shell. The body of a female black widow spider is smaller than a dime, but her poison is stronger than a rattlesnake's. How did the black widow get its name? Sometimes, the female spider kills and eats her mate. The raft spider eats tadpoles and little fish. It stabs a minnow with its deadly fangs, pulls it out of the water, and gobbles it up. Tarantulas are hairy spiders. A big one would cover your dinner plate. Most tarantulas are gentle, 
but some have an unusual weapon, their own hair. When a coyote tries to eat it, the tarantula kicks a cloud of itchy hairs into the air. The hairs make the coyote cough and scratch. Now, the tarantula can escape. A tarantula's worst enemy is a fierce wasp called a tarantula hawk. The spider tries to fight off the wasp, but the wasp darts in and stings it. Now the spider can't move. The wasp drags it into its burrow and lays an egg on it. After the egg hatches, the baby wasp eats the tarantula alive. Have you ever been stung by a bee? It hurts! One bee sting is bad enough. But how about hundreds of stings? Killer bees are smaller than other bees, but a lot fiercer. When they get mad, they chase and sting their enemies. One man was stung 2,000 times. A big dog was stung to death. The assassin bug is another killer. This assassin bug is creeping up on a caterpillar. Suddenly, it plunges its sharp beak into the caterpillar's furry body. Then it squirts in poison. The caterpillar's insides turn to mush. The assassin bug sucks up the mush and goes hunting for another meal. A female horsefly punctures the skin of horses and cows with her sharp mouth parts. Then she sucks their blood. In Africa, some horseflies even suck the blood of crocodiles. Some moths are as big as birds. If a giant atlas moth sat right here, its wings would cover both pages. The atlas moth is huge, but still has enemies. How does it protect itself? Its wing tips look like snake heads. Most animals are afraid of snakes. They leave the moth alone. How far can you stick out your tongue? The long-tongued sphinx moth has a tongue 11 inches long. That's four times as long as its body. If a 10-year-old boy had a tongue like that, it would be as long as his mother's car. Look at these huge cockroaches. Luckily, you won't find them in your kitchen. Madagascar hissing cockroaches live on an island near Africa. If a bird grabs one, the cockroach hisses loudly. As the startled bird drops the cockroach and flies away. Some millipedes ooze poison when they are frightened. Indians in Mexico used to grind up millipedes to make a deadly poison. Before a battle, they rub the poison on their arrows. Most bugs won't hurt you. Bugs are important. They are food for many other creatures, and they help trees and flowers grow. Bugs keep our planet clean by eating dead plants and animals. We couldn't live without bugs, even the biggest, scariest monster bugs.